some yep. eggs. You know what else? That sauce. Hey guys, Greg Hudson here with America's Best Restaurants and we are in South Bend, Indiana. I want you to think about something. What if you could take grandma's famous dish that you love so much at the holidays and have that cater to your own family, done your way, but by professionals. Well, Today at Ali's Cafe and Catering, you can do just that. Plus, their German breakfast is to die for, and I'm gonna leave you with this. Bacon, dipped in pancake batter, deep fried, and topped with powdered sugar. Time to head on in to Ali's Cafe and Catering. I'm glad it's me here today. <laughs> yeah. You kidding me? And, it, uh, and no. it's your birthday. Yeah. It is. Happy birthday to me. Betty's birthday on the episode of America's Best Restaurants. Picked a perfect right. day. Oh, this is great. Yeah. There's just like an energy when you walk in here. Well, we kind of try to keep it that way. I think way. it starts with you. Well, I don't know. I've been here 25 years, so we try to get that trickle down effect. It kind of helps. I think it's working. Yeah. Are you hungry? Oh my gosh, absolutely. What are we trying today? Well, what have we got? Have we got something for you? What is this? This is our maple bacon pancake puffs. Oh, hold on. Say it fast, five times. Maple bacon pancake puffs? Correct, correct. Maple, <laughs> maple bacon pancake puffs. I'm gonna, you know what, that's gonna be my new warm up. Before every episode, that's what I'm gonna say. Maple bacon pancake puffs. Yes, it's delicious. Now what in the hell are, what is that? Well, it is our bacon dipped in pancake batter, deep fried, and then powdered sugar glazed. <laughs> Did you hear that? Most people say you have me a bacon. Well, you do, but then you add, you start adding, I mean, because you add a layer of pancake batter in there. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Deep fried. It's all, it, you know, it smells like, um, like you're at the fair. It's kind of like Funnel an elephant cake. ear for breakfast. Yeah, like, no, I, you know what? I had elephant ears when I was a kid at the fair. I wasn't sure if you guys would know what that is, but yes. Yeah. Like, Elephant yeah. ear, funnel cake-ish. Let's, well, let's get going here. Bacon's the duct tape of breakfast food. <laughs> you can add it to anything you and can. it's going to work. It is. So, yeah. okay, let's go. Yeah. You, you don't need a fork, you just kind of tear it apart. Look at that. I'm just going to go for a little dipper here. Oh, yeah. Is that the play? You do it a little is. dip? Yep, dip it with the syrup. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. It's Syrup's delicious. nice and warm. Yeah. Mmm. Betty. Party in your mouth. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> you know what I love is the powdered sugar because it, it's a it's a big pop of sweetness right away, right? Mm -hmm. But then you taste that bacon in the middle and that savory kicks in. Mm -hmm. yep. You get that sweet savory combo and the pancake batter just binds it all together. Yep. Here's my one question. Yeah. Why in the hell didn't we think of this before? How is Betty the one that thought of this? How is how have we not thought of this before? This is incredible. It's really delicious. It is. And actually, I mean, I could take credit for this, but one of my cooks thought of this. I actually caught him cooking it in the back one day. I said, be careful what you wish for. So I tasted it and said, this is going on our menu. And every time he had to make one of these, he's like, oh my gosh, I can't believe I had to make these. <laughs> Well, that's true because I mean, look at this. I mean, you got a good six, seven pieces. Oh yeah, yeah. It's and delicious. I, we saw a lot of them. I was gonna say this is one of those things that when you see this come out of the kitchen, there are certain dishes, Betty. Yep. That when they come out of the kitchen and you've got your staff walking through the restaurant with them, kind of like sizzling can, it can, fajitas. It, exactly. It, it people's heads start to turn a little bit. Mm -hmm. This is one of those dishes for it me. Is. And I'll tell you something else. These are addictive. Mm -hmm. I mean, I don't want to stop eating these things. You gotta save room for other stuff, though. Is that a fact? It is. So, that's what I wanted to ask you, too. Menu looks incredible, but from what I'm gathering, from what I'm reading from the fans of your restaurant, some catering that you do here is just second to none. 
We do a lot of catering. I would say catering is about 60% of our business. Wow. Yeah. We, uh, we've won awards for catering. We just actually took uh, Best Caterer for our local area here in South Bend. And we actually um, have set up a buffet in the other room for what is known to be our number one best catering item, which is our Polish dinner. And we're here on the right day. You are on the right day, absolutely. So not only are you going to get to taste our Polish, but we've invited the community in to taste our Polish today too. So it's kind of a special treat. Oh man! So win-win for you guys. So we get to taste the best catering today with the Polish dinner. We get to meet some of the great folks of South. Correct. It's going to be a great day, as you can tell. Episode just starting. It's going to be awesome. You know what? One thing while I'm sitting here, before I, I go try this catering, I want to point out real quick. Looking at this wall behind you, 2022 best winner. Alley's all round restaurant, best winner 2022, best brunch, best catering, catering company, best breakfast, all 2022 winners. You took every single category here at South Bend. We did, we did, but that's not all me. I have the absolute best staff in the city of South Bend. Now, I, as I told you before, I kind of did the numbers on this. We've been in business 25 years, and I have a very small staff, it's under 15. And I added up all of the years that our staff has been here and combined, we have 285 years worth of staff in my building. So that's 285 years of love, dedication, commitment, joy, and just absolute wonderfulness waiting to wait on you and greet you and be a part of your everyday life here. So I can't do any of this without my staff. They are my heart. They are my soul. They are my children. So I can say, yeah, look at this. We won, but it wasn't me at all. It was completely my staff. Restaurant owners out there, I want you to rewind that. I want you to listen to that again. That is how you launch the foundation of a successful restaurant. Well, that and maple bacon pancake puffs. <laughs> All right, time for some catering. <laughs> It's time for the Polish dinner. This is one of the most popular catering items that they have at Alley's is the Polish dinner. So we're gonna have some right now. Let's sit down with new friend Jen and talk about this. <laughs> oh, these sausages are gonna get me later, but I don't care. A little overboard, a little overboard. Got my Polish dinner now, and this is Jen, by the way. One of the fabulous employees that you heard Betty talking about. And so this is the Polish dinner. This is one of the most popular catering experiences that you guys have, right? Absolutely, this is our number one. What, what all is it, does it entail? This chicken looks fantastic, by the so way. So actually, and you know, Polish dinner, but this is really the way that it's done, that uh, is deep fried and then baked off in the oven. So gotta have the crispy, gotta have the crispy. Beautiful. And I got some, is this cabbage? Goes yeah, that's cabbage our sweet here. and sour cabbage. And what's, okay, the noodles, they look fantastic. But what's the sauce for putting over the noodles here? So that's actually the way it's cooked in. Um, so those are cooked in a nice deep chicken broth to give that good chicken flavor. That's what the sauce is? Yes. Oh, yes. wow. So okay. it's all together. Okay. This chicken's been staring me in the face since we walked in. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> I'd have a bite of all the goodness. <laughs> that is outstanding. I don't know what it is. Maybe it's the baking process. But the, the meat, the chicken itself. I'm a big chicken thigh guy myself. That meat is just so delicious. I mean, it's flavorful. And that's part of the baking so process. Rich. You're not going to have any dried out chicken here. <laughs> no, that's the thing. It's not dry, but it's not greasy. It's just flavorful and juicy. That's our star magical secret. <laughs> The magical secret. We well, have a lot of magical secrets here, if I'm not mistaken. And I really want to talk about the catering because I think what's so unique is that people can come to you with family recipes, yes. and um, you guys are able to recreate those, but in in a catering fashion. So, for example, at the holidays, we with my family we love to make my grandmother's broccoli casserole. But what here's what happens: we have 
one dish, right, of broccoli casserole for about 10 of us to share. And everybody wants some of the yes! broccoli casserole. Yes, and so I get one scoop and then that's about it. But the fact that you guys are able to do that is so unique, so people can just come to you and bring recipes. Absolutely, you know, uh, catering is not just, especially for um, family events, weddings, anniversaries, birthday parties. It's as much as an emotional experience. It is. As it is a food experience. Well, food is an emotional experience. And, and that's very much what we like to do. We're not here just to do some business. We're here to be a part of that experience for you. So if you, you know, let's say grandma's gone and everybody wants to remember her, of course you can bring us grandma's broccoli casserole recipe. We'll have, you, make... have you been to my house or something? Because that's exactly what I happens. might have been doing a little snooping. Things happen. <laughs> um, but you want to be able to share that emotional experience. And it also is a way to include loved ones that may no longer be with you. Right. And have those feel good memories included with those special days. So we can make more than just a scoop of grandma's broccoli, broccoli casserole for you. Because that's all I get. All right, my sister Jessie eats most of it. Well, make sure you have all of it that you want. Right. But it's a very special way to be inclusive of everyone in your special day. And how are you guys able to do that? Because it's a restaurant itself, first and foremost, but then 60% is catering. Yes. So I imagine on the weekends, each night, you guys, you've got to be 10 places at once. And oh, by the way, you're catering for okay. different parties in one kitchen. Yes. How are you guys able to do this? Yes, well, I, you know, the owner, Betty, is uh, very organized. We could, Gotta be. We'd all be running around on fire screaming, right, without her direction on those things. Uh, she's just a very, very awesome business person. Has a plan for everything, and everything has a plan. I get all of that baked off. You know, we all coordinate together well as employees, you know, of course, we'll work here all day long, and sometimes some folks are putting in 16-hour days on these things. But everyone's special events and your dining experience here are equally as important to us. What what's what do you say? One of the most unique things you guys have ever had to put together catering wise for an event that someone's brought to you. Someone came to Betty, said to, to her and you guys as the team, "Hey, this is what I need you to cater." Is there anything that comes to mind that was like just super unique, but you were proud to pull off? You know, there was a lot, uh, a lot of things come to mind, but there was one particular family that had brought us their very special rice recipe. And rice is not something that's easy to keep moist, keep beautiful looking, to uh, store for maybe three or four hours on your buffet line while your family goes through, but here we got it done. Especially in that amount. Yes, in those quantities. So yes. again, the magical secrets. That <laughs> we're, we're always able to do those things. And then everybody got to have, again, it was an emotional experience. It was grandma's rice recipe and everybody had to have it. Yeah. Had enough for everyone, kept it like grandma would have served. And then we all had those feel goods too. You're like about to make me cry right now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to be calling Allie's on the holidays because we're going to make grandma's broccoli casserole. So. We got you. We but got now you that it's on day. camera, my mom and aunt are going to hold me to this. Yes, so now it's public. Everyone knows. <laughs> you will be being frizzed at the doorway for the casserole, sir. Well, I'll say this, though. If there's one place I trust to do that, it's definitely going to be Allie's because this is outstanding. Oh, you're I mean, in you guys, with us. You guys had a ton of people in here earlier. You kept this, this catering buffet going. This chicken's outstanding. That sauce. It might look simple. There's a lot of complexity there with that. You mentioned chicken broth. That just screams right in your palate, that chicken broth. But in a creamy way, you think chicken broth, you think kind of runny, right? You think like a broth. This is like a rich, creamy chicken broth that just, I mean, it coats that palate. It's still sticking there. Outstanding. It's all in the way that you cook it. You got to keep those nice carbs in there. We should not be afraid of carbs, right? You got to keep those starches in there. You guys, man. I, you need a reality show the way you guys are putting this stuff out. I don't know how you're doing it. We probably could, MTV, here we go. Let's go. <laughs> so here's the thing though. The menu itself though, that we, we're just talking about catering. Let's not forget, there's an entire menu that people show up here for on a daily basis. There is in fact a whole nother world to explore. And I mean, the breakfast, from what I'm hearing, I talked to some folks earlier, this German breakfast, Yes. What's that all? Yes. Now, our German breakfast is always listed first on our menu because it is our absolute most popular. Well, I'll tell you what. I'm going to see if I can find Betty because she was being really modest about this buffet. I know you guys say it's a favorite. This is incredible. The chicken, just top to bottom, everything on that buffet is incredible. Wonderful. I'm glad you enjoyed everything, and everybody always does. All right. Well, we're going to the top of the breakfast menu for some German breakfast. See you in the kitchen. Hey, in the kitchen.
kitchen now, and I don't know how much room I've got left. We're pretty crap right. back here. Well, I'm not even talking about this. I'm talking about the bacon dipped in the pancake batter. I'm talking about the Polish dinner. And now you guys got me back here because we've got uh, a German breakfast company. Oh, yeah. You're in for a treat here, too. You better have saved room for this because oh, this is gosh. our number one breakfast cell. So I had the number one catering experience and now we're going with the number one breakfast number one breakfast yes absolutely okay. and you know since you've been doing all of these shows i'm assuming you got a little bit of cooking skills left in you. Yeah, a little bit yeah, well, we'll try to teach you a little bit let's go what do it we is got? not that hard we have got our german what you're going to start with is a little bit of hash browns okay you know well we kind of wrap things a little tight around here so just a nice big scoop right there we're going to lay it on the grill now hang on this is one portion yep <laughs> hey we don't do anything small here Oh, the Claro butter, I see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're Love just going to put a little bit of oil on it. Love that. All right. And then what we do is we're going to add our sausage, peppers, and onions. We just pre-cut this for easeability. We're going to put this on the grill back here. Start that up a little bit. Okay. You like that to get nice and cooked. I'm one of those people that likes their ingredients cooked. You know. Well, and you know what I love so far too. I mean, not just I mean this breakfast, of course, and then also the Polish uh, dinner that we had is man, it gets cold up here in South Bend. It does. And a it's nice quite cold. cold day. This is the breakfast that you want, it man. Is. You know? Yep. yep. Oh, good. I can smell those peppers and that sausage. It is good. Yeah. Gosh, that smells great. It's not too hard. It takes a little bit of time for it to cook and sizzle. You know, you don't want to. Turn the masterpiece too early. Right, right. Saute the onions, get that nice flavor. You know, we have all this good sausage. Now we cross-reference a lot of our ingredients. This sausage is our sausage for our burritos. It's the sausage that we use on our sampler platters. Okay. So, you know, I'm one for ingredients. I find a great ingredient and I do not change up. Yeah, I mean, if you've got multiple uses for it, that's the way to go. I Especially do. if people love it, why not use it in different dishes? You they know? do. All my suppliers hate me because I'm on a no sub list. So they will tell you if I am out of something, I am out of something. I do not sub it. So. You know, but I love that. We're just going to cut that in half. Yep. I'll pop me a couple eggs on there. This just. Yep. Man, you don't skip on anything around here. No, not at all. Put my ingredients right there. Cover that egg with that sausage and pepper mix. Yep. So I'm just going to mix it up a little bit. Because I oh. want my hash browns to cook on both sides. Right, right. You're going to give those a little time. Yeah. So you get that little egg and sausage scramble going yep, down the middle. Yeah, I do. Man, that's just. And again, I'm just thinking to myself. As busy as you guys must get, and this is one portion. Yeah. You've got to be cranking on Saturday mornings we here. We are. Well, we've got two complete kitchens, and this is our secret sauce that I'm putting on it. I was going to ask you about that. You mentioned it earlier. Yeah. And no, you cannot have the recipe. Ha! We've been asking everybody. We've been trying. And we're just going to kind of let that simmer a little bit. Oh, I love that. Is that spicy sauce? That I is. Can smell that. It smells yeah. great. You can also have it with no sauce if you like no sauce. Oh, I um, say sauce it up. Yeah, I do too. I, I, I'm one to have more sauce than less sauce. Agreed. Um, but, you know, we put it in with that egg mixture, put it in with the sausage, the peppers, the onions. You know, that way it kind of gives a little tang, a little get up and gunk. You know, makes it good. And I'm going to go ahead and brag on you for a moment too while this is cooking down. You and I had a conversation earlier. I expected you had some certificate from Culinary Institute of America, uh, I, I don't know, something of that nature, right? And you're telling me that you're just, you're, you're self-taught, you're passionate, you're creative, and that's how this came about. No Johnson & Wales University. Nothing. Not a single School cooking class knocks. whatsoever. In and fact, like I was telling you, uh, I didn't even cook my first egg until the day I opened my restaurant. <laughs> you not this moment? Not a, not a single egg. It was, uh, yep. So it was out of, yeah, definitely a risk to taking, you know, doing that. So, yeah, I just love to cook things. I love to make my customers happy. I love doing what I do, and it's just something that I do. Well, and I'll tell you guys at home one thing I can tell you is that this community loves Betty. That is for sure. We spoke to so many people here today that just love what you do and love the atmosphere that you create. I think 
just as equal as the food is the service, the staff, and just the the sense of community that you get when you come in here. That's the way it seems when I talk to some of your customers. Yeah, I mean, they are all a good sense of community. I mean, we uh, know each other's names. We know what's going on in everybody's life. Sometimes we know a little too much about what's going on in our lives and their lives, uh, but we would never change that for the world. Uh, uh, I love this community. I love our customers. Uh, I love our friends. And I, I think that sense I of really community do. kind of makes this place what it is. It is. I, I wouldn't change anything about it. Uh, we are so not the typical restaurant. I mean, I really don't think that we are. You I People agree. ask me, I, I got a call a couple weeks ago, you know, hey, can we franchise you? It's like, there would be no possible way to do that. It wouldn't be the same. I wouldn't want that. I would never want that. It, it would, the only thing that would be the same is the name on the sign. That's it. I said, you know, that, that's what they said. Well, we could do this. No, but you wouldn't have my staff. You wouldn't have my passion. You wouldn't have my customers. You wouldn't have anything the same. So right. I, I would not ever do that. So well. appreciate the thought, but no. Yeah, I agree. <laughs> Sorry, bud. No. So yeah, doesn't it look delicious? That looks great. Yeah. I'll tell you what we are going to have in just a second. We're going to get this plated up and we're going to taste the famous German breakfast. Can't wait. All right. So, Betty, I think we've got a little room left in the tummy. It's Mitch. And, and looking at this, I, I think I'm going to make some room. The German breakfast, finally ready to go. This is one portion. One right? portion. Yeah. Gosh. We don't do anything small. You know, we, this is your chance to think of us twice in a good way. A little leftovers for tomorrow. Let's dig in. We should own uh, uh, stock and carry out containers. You know what? <laughs> You're on to something yeah, with that. Yeah, we should. Because this is, man. Let's dig in. Come on, dig, right. dig in here with me. So we got these hash browns in here. We got the peppers, the sausage. Eggs. Some yep. eggs. Mmm. Mm. Good. You know what else? That sauce. That sauce has a little kick to it, and it adds this dimension of flavor. And here's the thing. We tried to ask her for the recipe for the sauce. Couldn't get it. Nope. I don't know what's in there other than just a little bit of heat that sits in the back of your palate. Yep. But, man, that that ties it together. It does. And you know what else I love that you do? What's that? Is you leave a little crunch on those hash browns. There's this, you know what I'm talking about? Oh yeah, you gotta have crunch. A little crunchiness on some of the edges of those hash browns, just yep. like you like it. You leave it that way. Yeah. That sausage is great. The peppers are, are, are the through line, and again, the egg too. Yeah. Helps bind it together. But that sauce. Not telling you, still. Man, I'm trying to see. <laughs> you see what I did? I paused to see if maybe we could get something. I gave her a look and a pause. Yeah. Not happening. Not telling you. Not happening. <laughs> And so this is at the top of your breakfast menu, I take it. It right? is. It's one, our number one seller. Was this your design? Where did you find this dish? I actually inherited this dish 25 years ago when I uh, bought my first restaurant. I bought it from a little gal, lady that was 70 years old. Her name was Marcy. Um, and this is the one dish that I did keep on the menu. I understand why now. Yeah, yeah. But it, uh, that was the only dish I took from her. This is just so complex. Mm -hmm. I mean, all the different nuances of like, that bite, I got a lot of sausage, but I got a nice little crunch again from that hash brown. Yep. But it's so balanced with flavor, with texture. Yeah, you don't get the same bite twice. And can I tell you something else that kind of surprises me? When I eat it, it, it kind of goes down easy. It's not like, I don't feel like it's sitting in my stomach too heavy right, right. now. Yeah. And I think maybe it's because the hash browns are broken up like that. Perhaps. I think it is too. I think the potatoes are light enough that it, uh, that it does that. Man, this is great. I mean, is this, a, is this a favorite for your regulars? It is, yeah. Like I say, number one seller. Mm. That's outstanding. Well, oh, good. I'm glad well, you like it. I gotta tell you, this has been such an incredible day. Thank you. I we're, mean, between we're happy. that bacon dish, by the way, you guys at home, you're gonna try to steal it, aren't you? You, guys, you know how many people, after they watch this, are going to go to the grocery, come home, and start dipping bacon in pancake batter? Do you have any idea how many people that this are going to do that on the other side of that camera? They are going to try to do that. I know they are. Man, and just the way you, you know, it's just the way you take care of people here, the way you take care of your staff. The well, way they take care of me. Yeah, and, and just even your your guests take care of each other, man. Yeah, they take care of me. That, well, I can see, and I and you know what, I can see why. So what a special day. And uh, you know what else? Happy birthday again. Thank you. It's been a wonderful birthday. I, I can't imagine celebrating it any other day. Can you come back next year? <laughs> I, I, it's on camera. <laughs> Can you come back next year? So we're going to see you on this very day next year at Allie's here in South Bend. I just can't imagine being, being all done. <laughs> 
But we're going to go celebrate now. But thank you so much for tuning in. We'll see you next time on America's Best Restaurants.